All right, so we're talking about the biotic potential of a species, so that's also known as its carrying capacity. Typically when graphed or talking about specific numbers, you'll hear it referred to as carrying capacity. When you're talking in more qualitative data, so when you're looking at just kind of general species statistics but not that numerical data, you'll hear biotic potential. So biotic potential or carrying capacity is the maximum number of individuals of a species that an eco ecosystem can hold. So this is one specific ecosystem has the resources to support this many animals of this species. So a species can be prevented from reaching its biotic potential by a limiting factor. So limiting factors is actually going to be a different video, but these are things that are going to keep that biotic potential from being reached. So a carrying capacity or biotic potential is determined by the availability of food, populations of predators, disease, or competition for other resources. So all of these things should kind of make sense just naturally. So if you have less food, you're not gonna be able to feed as many animals within a species. So that's gonna limit the amount or that population that you can have. Same with populations of predators. If you're looking at say the deer population and there's tons of wolves in the area or other predators, um, those deer populations are gonna go down as those predators go up. So disease is another one that can limit uh, our carrying capacity or biotic potential if in a certain density, so if you have a certain number of animals in a specific population, disease is actually more likely to occur. So that's gonna kind of put a cap on how many animals you can have of that species. And also competition for other resources. So if you're thinking about like sunlight, especially with plants, that's a big one. If you plant like a, a tree sapling in the shade of another tree, that larger tree is gonna be much more advanced, is gonna be much more able to compete for that resource of sunlight. So that's increased by invasive species. So the more invasive species you have in a population, the more non-natives, the more competitions there's going to be for resources, which makes sense if you introduce another species that's not typically in that ecosystem to that ecosystem, you now have one more animal to compete with. So if population exceeds the carrying capacity, population will actually decrease until it stabilizes. So if you have a, a sharp population growth that exceeds the carrying capacity, you're actually gonna see animals die off. You're gonna see that population decrease as a way of stabilizing back to that carrying capacity.